and I just have the light sitting on my table right now. It's not even attached to anything. I just place it like that, make sure it doesn't fall, and I'm ready to go. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you five ways to use this A2 Pro tube light by Ambit Full. But first, let's see what all comes in the box. Inside the box, you're gonna find that this light comes with a really nice carrying case, along with the grid, the light itself, an instruction manual, and the cable to charge the light. Some of my favorite features of this light is that it's portable with a built-in lithium battery that Ambit Full informs it can last up to 90 minutes on a full charge. It also has a really wide range of the color balance, um, going from 2500 Kelvin all the way up to 8500 Kelvin. And of course, the brightness is adjustable as well as the RGB colors are adjustable. And it comes with about 25 uh, built-in presets. I do recommend that you download the Ambit Full Pro app because you'll be able to adjust these settings very easily as well as it will allow you to save your favorite scene presets by using this mobile app. So now let's get into the five different ways you can use this light in your video content creation or your photography. Number one is practical lighting, just as you see right here. I think this light is an obvious choice if you're looking for a light that's gonna look really nice in the background of your videos. Practical lighting allows you to add visual interest to your scene and with this light, you'll be able to have a range of RGB colors to set it to according to your favorite colors or even if you're trying to set a mood in your scene. The modern tube design looks really cool and this light has threads on either side of the light so that you can mount it on a stand or you can also just sit it on a shelf and it will look just as good. Number two is fill light. With this light, you'll be able to take your scene from this to this. Personally, I love this look on my videos. Since I have the key light over to the right of me, it makes this side of my face really dark. So with this light, I'm able to put that over on my left side put it at an orange color, do around 10% brightness, and have it fill this side of my face. It also starts to add what's called a rim light here, but we'll get into that here in just a little bit. This will also be a great time for you to use that grid so that you can direct the light directly to you and not have it spill into the rest of your scene. And I just have the light sitting on my table right now. It's not even attached to anything. I just place it like that, make sure it doesn't fall, and I'm ready to go. Number three is hair light. This is a really popular lighting technique where you place the light over your head that creates this edge light that further separates you from the background. The slim design of this light makes it the perfect choice for this use case. Remember to use the grid included to direct the light directly here so that you have no spill. In fact, let me remove the grid so you can see how much light actually spills if you're not using the grid. All right, so I just took off the grid and you can actually see that the light is spilling into the wall back here. It is much brighter now. Um, which could kind of kill the scene in a way. Um, so make sure that you're utilizing uh, the grid here to, to control the lighting a bit more. Number four is ambient lighting. Different colors in a scene may give your audience the cue to feel a certain type of way. With this light and the wide range of colors that it has, you'll be able to set that perfect color to set the mood that you want. Number five is using this light as your main key light. I was a little iffy about testing this light as a main key light, but I knew that I had to put it to the test. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty surprised um, to see how good this light actually looks. The light is too harsh and I do wish that it was a little bit more softer, but if you had to use this light in a pinch as your main key light, I mean, it, it's doable, it looks good. Also, if you're recording in a small room like myself, these lights have a small footprint 
allowing you to use them in tight spaces without taking up much room. So there you have it guys, the five ways that I'll be utilizing this A2 Pro tube light by Ambit Fool. This light is bright, it is versatile, and it is jam packed with settings uh, and features that I can't wait to dig into and just get creative with it overall. So if you're looking for a light to level up your video content or your photography, I do recommend the A2 Pro Tube Light by Ambit Fool.